This is a new track dropping from the Limitless channel that I think you will all love because it features assertions from our favorite heliocentric shill, Wolfie6020, that no quote unquote flat earther would ever be willing to challenge him on the equinox. Well, here is the challenge, Wolfie. Come have a discussion with the Limitless channel and myself. It does not have to be a debate. We can have a civil, cordial conversation and talk about Jehovah's Witnesses and a whole bunch of things. We can also bring up screen shares and talk about what every Joe Blow can witness for themselves. You know, Wolfie, that we have had these exact same explanations for nearly four years now, and you cannot pretend like we do not exist anymore. I have accepted your challenge, Wolfie. Now let's have the discussion online where everyone gets to see who the shill is and who it is that has been exposing you right from the very beginning of our ministry. So let's get down to business. This is a countdown timer to the March equinox. As you can see, it will occur in just over seven days time. The equinox is when the sun is directly over the Earth's equator. For six months of the year, the sun is over the Northern Hemisphere. For the other six months, it is over the Southern Hemisphere. The sun will cross the equator twice each year, once in September and once in March. And when that occurs, we call it the equinox. And the reason we have the two equinoxes each year is due to the tilt of the Earth and the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. As we know, the Earth tilts at just over 23 degrees, and as it orbits the Sun, that angle really doesn't change. But what is changing is the orientation of the Earth's tilt with respect to the Sun. You can see here, during the summer solstice, the North Pole is tilted closer towards the Sun. During the winter solstice, it is the South Pole that is facing closer towards the Sun. During the two equinoxes, the vernal equinox and the autumnal equinox, the tilt is neither towards or away from the Sun and therefore it has absolutely no effect on the sun's apparent movement across the sky. And therefore it has absolutely no effect on the sun's apparent movement across the sky. Now this geometry creates a very interesting situation that allows us to observe the sun moving in a straight line from sunrise to sunset. Another way to demonstrate this is with an equatorial plate sundial. It only happens on the day of the equinox. On any other day, we see a curve in the path of the sun.
the motion of the sun will appear to be in a straight line. During other times of the year, the observer is no longer at the centre of this circle and therefore they will see curve in the path of the sun. On the day of the equinox, if you orientate that hoop at an angle from vertical equal to your latitude and hold it up to the sun, the sun will actually trace a path exactly along the edge of the hula hoop. With your eye at the centre, that appears to be a straight line and that is exactly the path that the sun will appear to follow. Unfortunately, based on past experiences with flat earthers and the equinox, I don't think any of them are going to understand this. The geometry of what I have just demonstrated is quite in oh. Oh, oh, oh.